Hello there. The Cabinet Secretary David Liddington says that the EU elections that his government has claimed it has been trying to avoid must now take place. What a shock. Not. David Liddington said it is regrettable, but it will not now be possible to finish the process of completing the withdrawal agreement process in time to prevent the EU elections taking place on the 23rd of May. Now that may come as a surprise to one or two people and their dog, but for the rest of us the only shock in all of this is that he had the temerity to make such a statement. Just a quick think about the situation would make you realise that if the establishment wants us in the European Union and the only way to stay as full members of the EU is to hold EU elections and have MEPs, then it does not take a brain surgeon to work out that the establishment will beaver away tirelessly at finding a way to force those elections on us. And lo and behold, there they are. David Liddington ordered those elections himself by statutory instrument on Monday the 8th of April, and those elections are governed by statute law. The overwhelming majority of MPs in the House of Commons and peers of the realm occupying the House of Lords want us to remain firmly in the EU as full members. The EU decision that extends Article 50 says that the earliest we can leave is the 31st of May unless we had ratified the withdrawal agreement, which would take months, not weeks, to conclude. Treaty law says we have to hold those elections if we are still in the Article 50 period on the 23rd to the 26th of May, which we will be, because Parliament will not sign off Theresa May's Withdrawal Agreement Surrender Treaty because they know that once we've held the EU elections, the chances of them swinging a complete reversal of Brexit are increased many-fold. Then there's the EU27 Citizens' Right to Representation angle to be considered. If the elections were cancelled at the last moment, all the EU27 citizens living in the UK would be instantly disenfranchised of their treaty right to vote in EU elections and be represented by an MEP, for what that's worth. So how exactly was that election ever going to be stopped? By Remain biased MPs and Lords somehow voting to not hold them? Don't make me laugh thus incurring the displeasure of the Eurocrats they were then going to pretend to try and get a deal with? No, those elections were never meant to be stopped, ever. If there had been any intent, even the slightest hint of intent, to prevent those EU elections going ahead, then Parliament would not have been closed down for two weeks for Easter. No, they would instead have stayed resolutely behind like business leaders who have to work on a massive order or whose businesses are under threat would stay behind to get the job done. In fact, what we actually witnessed was a lot of very relieved and relaxed MPs going off on holiday, knowing that step one of Remain, that of getting us embroiled in the EU elections, had been achieved. Now, David Liddington also said that the government would try to keep any Brexit delay as short as possible. So, we have the elections. We elect MEPs. Then all current EU citizens living in the UK who voted for UK-based MEPs have representation in the EU Parliament. What then happens if the UK leaves the EU and its UK-based MEPs suddenly become redundant? Who represents the EU27 citizens living in the UK, who suddenly lose their representation in the EU Parliament? Now, this was not an issue earlier this year, because we were reaching the end of the five-year EU parliamentary term. But now we're at the start of a whole new five-year term, so this will be made into an issue by both our own establishment and the Eurocrats. 
as I've said before, this will become yet another intractable problem that the UK will have to solve to the satisfaction of Brussels before we can leave. And every single day we stay entangled in the EU is another day of the EU passing laws to drag us further into its sticky web. And on a final note, even if we did by some miracle leave the European Union, Having already elected MEPs would make any re-entry so much more easy, wouldn't it? Anyway, what do you think? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.